Hey, what's going on guys in this video we are going to see how to calculate the input resistance of this transistor model now let's go ahead and draw the equivalent model of this one the equivalent model of this one will look like this we will have okay let's draw the complete diagram okay Okay, let's finish this one. Here we have a ground. And uh, this one will be Vx plus minus Vx. And uh, here Ix currents going through this. And uh, here we will have a resistor. R51 and the voltage across this is V51 and here we will have a current source that is GM V51 okay now here we will have R52 R52 and uh, the voltage across this one is V52 and the current source here the current source here will be GM V52 okay that's it now let's go ahead and find out the input resistance To find out the input resistance, first of all, uh, we have to know what is the emitter current. Emitter cur current is going to be addition of these two currents, this current, this one plus this one. So IE is going to be GM V52, let's say GM2, let's say this one GM1, GM2 V52 plus V52 over R52. R52 and the current entering this one also emitter current the current entering through this one the current entering is basically GM1 V51 plus V51 over R51 R51 here we can uh, simplify these two formulas the first formula we we can take v5 to common so this is going to look like this gm2 plus 1 over r52 and uh, v52 will be outside and here if i take v51 outside this is going to be gm1 plus 1 over r51 so v51 will be common and that's it for emitter current. Now we can equalize these two. Let's go ahead and continue here. <coughs> GM2 plus 1 over R52 V52 is equal to GM1 plus 1 over R51 v51 okay now if i take v52 here v52 is equal to gm1 plus 1 over r51 over gm2 plus 1 over r52 and then v51 common okay now if we apply Kirchhoff's Kirchhoff voltage law okay we are we are going to have minus Vx plus V51 plus V52 is equal to zero so 
vx is going to be equal to v51 plus v52. Now we we can substitute this value v52. We already have this one. Here we have v52. This one instead of v52, we can substitute this one. So if we do that, this is going to be vx is equal to v51 plus gm1 plus 1 over r51 over gm2 plus 1 over r52 and v51 common and here we have v51 and here we have v51 so if i take this v51 inside of this bracket we can just put one right here because v51 is common so 1 plus gm1 plus 1 over r51 over gm2 plus 1 over r52 and then v51 common okay now that's it for this one <clears throat> and uh, instead of v51 v51 is basically r51 times ix the current through this is ix so instead of v51 we can replace that one so this is going to be just 1 plus gm1 plus 1 over r51 over gm2 plus 1 over r52 times r51 ix okay now we want to know what is uh, v over r v over i because v over i is the resistance input vx over ix so if we rearrange this one this is going to be vx over ix is equal to r5 plus r51 gm1 plus 1 over gm2 plus 1 over r52 okay so finally we can write this one as Re uh, resistance input is equal to here this is r51 because we are multiplying both of them by r51 and also instead of r51 gm1 we can replace that one with beta 1 because beta is equal to r51 gm1 so this is going to be just r51 beta 1 plus r51 plus beta 1 plus 1 times 1 over gm2 parallel to r52 and that's it that's the input resistance i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn electronics there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too don't forget to subscribe S see you next time